Hey everybody, this is Joe Dyer with uh, MTG Goldfish, This Week in Legacy, Vintage 101, and The Power of Popper. Uh, here today with a video from a stream from last weekend. Uh, this is a, a video on the Magic Online Content Creator Showdown uh, 5K. Uh, this uh, event was the Popper format, uh, showcasing the very early part of the Popper format for uh, Modern Horizons 3. Uh, so, what follows is my direct matches uh, from the event. I did cut out a lot of the uh, uh, downtime uh, from this, so it's not the whole stream. Like, I usually post the whole stream, but I didn't feel like doing that this time because there was a lot of uh, stuff happening in the background. Uh, I didn't really want to subject anybody to that. Uh, so, uh, you will just find the direct matches here. Uh, we did choose to play uh, Grixis Affinity uh, for this particular match, for this particular uh, for event. And um, it was okay. Uh, we ended up uh, at a 2-2 uh, uh, elimination. Uh, this was a six-round double elimination event. Uh, so, uh, as you will see, uh, kind of combination of bad matchup and a uh, pretty solid misplay uh, on my part, uh, Tunnel Vision, that we'll talk about after the, uh, uh, the event is over uh, in, in a little wrap-up. Uh, so... Stay tuned for that, and uh, check out the, 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 the games, and uh, be sure to check out uh, Magic Online's uh, content creator program. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, thank you, Magic Online, for not only uh, inviting me to come play in this thing, uh, but also having me as part of their program. Uh, and uh, check out all the articles on MTG Goldfish. And with that, we will get over to uh, the first match and all of the other matches uh, to follow. So thanks, and stick t stay tuned. Okay, I think my opponent is working. Uh, so All right, I guess we get to play. Mm, let me... Ooh. I don't want all this. Go away, go away. Uh, well, I'm on the roll. I'm the on the draw, or on the play here, so this seems pretty good. Um, I don't, I don't know if I like this hand or not. Like, it does some things. Definitely going to draw some cards. Uh, don't have a threat, like, right off the bat. But then again, at the same breath, we could just draw, like, a familiar or a frogmate. So, like, I like the ability to draw cards, uh, against this deck. Uh, because this deck also draws a lot of cards. So I guess we'll see. Like, we got mana, and we got stuff to do with that mana. So that makes a lot of a big difference. All right. So our opponent, we're just waiting on our opponent, uh, I think, to pick their, yeah, to decide what they're going to do. Yep. I almost never use the chat, so it's like a habit of me to just, like, have to click it. Uh, okay, uh, we will go from that. Let's pull up their list here and see what uh, possible things that they have to play. Alright. So, we could have like a turn one colony gardens or, you know, a sort of like a swamp or, you know, something like that. Haunted Mire, that's a thing. Swamp into Cycle Troll of Cause of Doom seems like a really good good play. Haunted Mire, okay. I mean, Thoughtcast seems pretty good. We will draw some more mana. My gosh. Also has an Icarus Wellspring. <laughs> this seems like a mirror in a sense. 
Uh, no cast that's not cast. Okay, we will uh, definitely do the the thing of casting uh, dispute on our turn, on their turn. Doesn't make sense to cast dispute right now, but we have a lot of we have a lot of options here. We're gonna draw a lot of cards, which is good because that's kind of what where we want to be. We want to draw a lot more cards than they are. Okay, they're doing the thing. Maybe dispute. I mean, I think we're just gonna draw a lot more, a lot of cards. Like it's. I'm just gonna cast this, uh, this guy. Uh, we might as well. It's awkward to have to like pass the turn here with a with a, a thing of, because if I cast this uh, Icar Wellspring, like I just draw another card and replace it. But <laughs> that feels fine, especially if we draw. Okay, draw makeshift munitions. Uh, we will. Oh, okay. I am confused as to what to do here. I'm in told something else here. I only need to win one and he needs to win two. Okay. Silver Buffer Ridge. Oh, okay. Alright, I will talk to him here. Just so we don't lose time. I'm being told that our, my opponent was given a game loss uh, for tardiness. So, yeah, they're being told to concede the game uh, because uh, it needs to be. Um, they were they received a game loss for tardiness uh, for the issues with uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm just waiting to see what happens here, uh, but I don't want to lose time, so, like, it's real awkward to have to, like, keep playing because I don't want to be, like, down on time. I don't think my opponent is paying attention to the Discord. Uh, they did just put a post a message in the chat about it, so... Uh, but my opponent is not... I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Things are happening. So many things. Okay. So, yeah. they. My opponent did indeed do the thing to concede the game uh, for the game loss that they received. I have no idea how to board against this deck. Uh, I had a really a lot of problems with this deck uh, in uh, 
the early my testing so uh did not really feeling too happy with my um with things i think just having uh creatures i really should have had contraspell i think in this list instead of metallic rebuke but I don't like my odds post board. They have so many things to do post board uh, that are just awful against this deck. Um, hmm. Because I have a lot of stuff for the blue lists, uh, especially uh, in Mirror. Uh, I don't know that I like Card Clan Shaman. I get to clear some of their like things, like their plant tokens and stuff, but it doesn't really do much against their creatures per se well let's see here they have crypt rats they have thorn of black rose and troll uh avenging hunter um post where they get troublemaker of uh dick glamour which is gross uh so uh, i feel like just cutting like a few things here or there uh for stuff like negate and uh, Tithing Blade, Nihil Spellbomb. We'll just cut the Frog Mites. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll cut an Echo Wall Spring. No, we want to draw more cards than we do. We'll cut a Blood Fountain. That'll probably be fine. Problematically, like this happened, and the call got made, and they got they know what I'm playing anyway, so it doesn't really matter because uh, it's open deck list. So, yeah, uh, I don't feel too super confident even being up a game uh, because you know it's it's frustrating. Um. See, I don't. Uh, I'm. I'm on the play, or I'm on the draw. So, yeah, I guess. Like, keep it. Like, it does a, a reverberator on turn turn two. Oh, yeah, see, that's just gross. Come on. Ugh. I get put a turn behind just because I have uh, to deal with the troublemaker roof. Like, it's just, it's awful. Yeah, taking two from this oof. Being on the draw versus like the worst matchup, even being up a game, is absolutely rough. Like, it's not something I feel very happy about. I'll just refurbish from there. Make them at least draw a card. Or yeah, discard a card. see what they've got cast they're just going for the aggressive try to kill you with my creature i guess we're just casting another one since we're not drawing another land
exiles. Jacobog. Like another land would be perfect, but like if they have like anything like another oof or anything like that, or another. Yeah, I said Deadly Dispute is pretty good. We're on the back foot of them having had that just that oof right off the bat, and then just not drawing another land, which is weird because usually I like flood out hard with this deck. Like it's been my like week with it has been just like tons of flooding and stuff with it. All right, yep. No, I will not be blocking that guy. I need the affinity count at this point. Jimmy <laughs> Christmas, come on. This is going to be like this. Uh, yeah, I, I had to play against this. I have, I have nothing I can do. Like... I am just dead. Like, is there's no way? Sure. Like, this is this is what I get for playing Affinity, losing to Gardens, literally uh, in one. This is this is my luck. So I I lost to Gardens in, like earlier this week. Said, well, maybe there won't be any people playing gardens. Played against the exact one player playing goblins, or play, playing playing uh, gardens, and yep. So I mean, I'm up a uh, a game, but like, oh uh, yeah, this is not keepable at all. This is better because uh, it has lands in it. Start by trying to make them discard some stuff. But again, like, if they have oof, bargain, uh, just cast down. Okay. Uh, let me draw some cards. At least we have enough to, like, cast, like, Chain to chain thought casts. Nimbus, okay. They care quite a bit about this. Uh, their colony garden, obviously. That's a great Greek card for them. Oh, well, let's cast a sock cast. Let's cast this other thought cast.
Cast that. Cast this for your mirror enforcer. Another colony garden. Popper's rough right now with this. This is I would be playing this deck right now. I don't know why there weren't more players playing this deck in this event. Alright, draw another card. Let's force the force the uh, the block because they didn't need to. Like it just makes sense for them to block. We're gonna negate that. Stop them from drawing some cards. I have an answer to an avenging hunter, so like that's pretty reasonable. Uh, I may even have an answer to a Crypt Rats. Ah, yeah, they're just gonna... They want to draw some cards. Get a map token. I want to be saving the... Ah, oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's also fine. Like, you can crack this blood token. I mean, we're just going to draw the same card we just drew, but okay. <laughs> like, fine. So much mana being drawn. Yeah, well, we'll take two from this, this oof. Because what I'm worried about is it. Yep, that's the card I'm worried about. Very worried about Avenging Hunter. Now I have to see if I can take back the initiative. Like, that's the other concern here. It doesn't seem super likely. But, especially since, like, this is just it. Like, we just draw a bunch of mana. So, we have to hope they go to Forge. Because uh, if they go to Forge, then we just kill the oof in response. But, still, just awkward as heck. Okay. Yep. Just kill it in response. My life for a deadly dispute or anything that lets me change some draws here just to get back into this game. Like, just something. Because, yeah, yet another Avenging Hunter. That's going to be rough. Mm -hmm. 
Anything but a land, folks. Anything. Oh, oh my god. Really? Really? Come on, deck. Thank you. I don't get it. Like, yeah. I, I don't get it. Like, land, 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 land. Just the the worst luck possible. And, and honestly, this is the way it usually goes for me in this kind of matchups. It's just playing against, like, the worst. The getting Being on the back foot and having the worst luck. Just drawing land after land after land. Any amount of cards that would let me get back into this game. But I don't think there is anything that gets me back into this game, unfortunately. Like I have to take I had to have had take the initiative, like last turn. Uh or turn before, so this also doesn't do anything. Um uh, we'll see what discarding this card does. It, it doesn't it doesn't do anything like I'll play it but I have to use it to block I need a draw action is what I needed I needed stuff to sacrifice these Icar wall springs yeah so okay all right well uh that uh about does it for round one that's my first loss and the first uh so yeah mm, okay uh yeah all right uh well thanks uh we'll be back for round two here shortly i'm sure oh there we go uh there's my match all right cool we are ready to get started here okay uh, i am on the die roll so uh Technically, this is like a turn. I don't know how I feel about this one. Like, it's a really interesting uh, play. Because I could play the uh, star. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Like, we'll play, we get to play the star. Ah, right off the bat, we are getting aggressive here. All right, we are going to do some things, I guess. To draw some cards. Wicker Wall Spring. Thought cast. So many card draws. <laughs> so much card draw. Beyond so much card draw. It's so great. So we do have a deadly dis uh, or, or a uh, metallic rebuke. Blood Fountain. That's fine. I feel like I'm gonna just like daily dispute the treasure, get another treasure. 
Who we in a deadly debut or Okay, that's fine. Reckoner's bargain. All right. Yeah, refurbished familiar is a card. Yeah, we'll pitch this bridge. And we don't need that <laughs> the amount of back and forth in this game so far has just been fantastic like it's beautiful man oh uh, let's let's make them have to do something with this okay so Then being able to get back their um, their thing is rough. Thought casting, frog miting, so much happening in this game. Yeah, we will trade a. Get back a mirror enforcer. And familiar. Just gal blessing. Oh, I get to draw a card though. Heck yeah. And Eviscerator's Insight is live in the graveyard and in my hand, so yeah, you get back your <laughs> so much discarding and stuff happening in this game. It's great. I mean, I think we don't want this. I think we just want the exact same board state as our opponent has, which is beautiful, man. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I feel like we'll block here. We'll draw, just draw some cards. What a crazy game this is so far. <laughs> like, what? So much back and forth grindiness going on. Uh, well, 
I'll cast this. I mean, I would like to... to draw, like, a bunch of cards. Yeah, uh, that's fine. The grossness of being able to blood fountain after blood fountain after blood fountain here. Uh, do this again. Keep casting refurbished familiar. <laughs> so much refurbished familiar just happening here. And so many blood fountains. Yeah, I mean, we have to... <laughs> so many blood fountains have been cracked in this game. Yeah, I will be pitching a, a land. Yep. Oh, and you have a frogmite too. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh this makeshift munitions is actually fairly legitimate here. Uh it's just how do we do it? Uh all right, we want to The munitions is good because that means we get to wipe everything kind of off the table again and again and again. So I feel like we block here. We'll take two. Wish I had a main deck Nihil spell bomb, I think. That's what really what I was missing, I think, out of this. This has certainly been the grindiest game I think I've played all day so far. Like it's it's grindy as heck. Sure. Yep. So I get to clear. So 
just cast a side cast. Going deep into the red zone here. We have a bunch of stuff to like just prevent a Yeah, it is rough when your uh, game plan is have to, like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Like, we were definitely ahead there. Uh, that was a very rough game for them, uh, being ahead like that. Uh, so we want these Gorilla Shamans, these Nihil Spell Bombs. Um, I don't really want Blasts. Um, Tithing Blade's really good if you... Uh, can flip it, uh, and it feels like we can, uh, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, I don't like Card Clan Shaman in this matchup because you're not hitting their um, their refurbished familiars. Um, you still want the refurbished familiar cards? Absurd! I don't know if anybody saw how many common times we cast that in that game, uh, but man, like it's it's a very I expect we're going to see this card a lot uh, going in the future, and I feel like it's going to be a very good card to, to see. Um, I like Blood Fountain, but I don't want all of them, maybe. I really want to keep it. Let's shave an Insight. Uh, let's shave a Frog Knight. Maybe we just don't just don't board in Tithing Blade. And even though I really like that card, it long term over the game, it's really good. But I think uh, we can do without it. So our hope is to like Gorilla Shaman, like slow roll a Gorilla Shaman, and just like blow up lands. That's really like the best play. This is also a fine hand. Chromatic Star. Yep. Blood Fountain. It would be really good if we could slow roll into these two. Uh, Refurbished Familiars on turn two, but... That might be busted, but I don't think it's going to happen. Ooh, what are we doing here? I don't think you can cast a thought cast there. It still doesn't work the way you want it to, does it? No. Okay. Black. Oh, Blood Fountain. Okay. That makes... Yeah, that lets you cast Thought Cast. Oh, uh, what's... Familiar... We, fa we will familiarize ourselves. Ah! And then we have Thought Cast plus, plus Familiars. Yeah, Acre Well Spring. Yep. They're just trying to draw cards, and we're going to... continue to put the pressure on them with their their hand they want to rebuke that okay that's fine that means they can't rebuke the thought cast oh 
Ew. So, yeah, now we get to just, like, go on the attack on their lands. Okay. It's a very reasonable thing to do. Mirror Enforcer is a good card here. Gorilla Shaman! Boo! I wanted to do the same thing. He still casts this thought cast. I mean... That's still reasonable to do. We're playing the long game here. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're just going to do that. Yep. Yeah, we're... munitions you oh really you have another metallic rebuke what is going on here okay then yep Yeah, destroy the destroy my land. I mean, I think we have to like just get rid of this thing. Yeah, that's a, there's a mirror enforcer. Munitions it is a rough magic card. That's how you win games. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, we get to... Okay, they have black mana now.
<laughs> this is a game. Very real game. Yeah. So now I just need, like, some things to draw that would get rid of this thing. That's going to be rough. All right, so let's let's start off by doing some things. there. I have a cast down, so we'll cast down the, the other guy. This makeshift munitions is going to kill me if I don't get it off the table, though. Like, that's problematic in general. Ah, deadly disputing. These games have been, like, super, super duper uh, incredible, though. Like, these have been games. White. I guess they can sack and kill. What are they going to sack, though? Their land? Yeah, targeting Gorilla Shaman. You know, I'm okay with that because that lets me leverage a Blood Fountain in the future with them not having a... I don't know, okay. So I need to have a Nihil Spellbomb on my side at this point. Or I need to draw like a Thought Cast into one. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. Mm, that seems good. I can pay for a eviscerator's insight. Ew. I don't like these these cards at all. Uh, 
I guess sack the treasure token. I'm okay with that. You know what? That is fine. I messed up by attacking with this frogmite. Just realized it. <laughs> they messed up by... That's weird. So they need to land to activate it's real awkward for them because what happens here is that because they missed it too I I saw it and I, as soon as I attacked with the frogmite and I missed it they could have taken six and then killed me on the crackback uh, these are the kind of lines that I see where my opponent could kill me um, woof Okay. Are you just going to try to kill me with munitions? Can you do that? Oh. Ball. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They got it. Yeah. Munitions for the win. Uh, I think I want this negate. Uh, that was a good That was a good match. Uh, or at least a good uh, first two games. Uh, yes, I would like to be on the play. It's interesting here. I would like to be able to play that munitions. Okay. Uh. So then I have familiar. Yeah, blood fountain. Uh, we will go ahead and we will cast Familiar. Wellspring, draw a card. Oh wait, it costs two. These games have been really good. I honestly, no matter what happens here, if I lose and this is my out, uh, I am thrilled with this particular uh, setup. Like, it's been a great set of games so far. Yeah, Spell Bomb's good. Enforcer. Uh, we will Cast 
past that, and we will get into the red zone. Gorilla Shaman. Thought casting. Yeah, that's a, that's a very real thing to want to do. I did not do that properly. Should have held up that rebuke. Okay. Second enforcer's fine. Get by in the air. We'll play that land. We'll rebuke and see if they've got a rebuke. Okay. Because I think us being at 20, like, we're in a good spot here that we can just, like... Yeah, refurbish familiar, yeah. Yeah, we'll take four from the... So we get to block, uh, and then we get to, like, throw damage with your face, uh, which is pretty good. Not having trample makes for a lot of things here. Yeah, so they have to attack. We get to block. And then we get to makeshift munitions them in the face. Sure. They still get to draw. So they don't have a familiar here. Okay, yeah. So they saw the line. So we got to... We Basically what, we, what happened here is that um, I swing for four and then I 
or actually, I would have dropped the blood fountain on my end step since they nuke my graveyard and there's no reason to keep it around, so just throw it at their face and end step, and then attack and then munitions them to death. Uh, pretty good match. Heck yeah. Thank you. And there's my opponent. So, okay. So I think I just want to be, like, I kind of want to be on the play, but nope, not on the play. All right. This is an absolutely unkeepable hand. Uh, and they are also mulliganing, so. This is a lot better. This Gal Blast doesn't do anything. And they mold to five cards. So, this refurbished familiar gets a lot better, I think, in this regards. My opponent is also on at 1-1, one, one, so... We just gotta do the thing. Put a bunch of flyers into play that uh, kill them. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, Utopia Sprawl. We just gotta like draw, run them out of cards. Seems good to be like. Refurbish familiar into refurbish familiar. I am liking the fact that they had to pass the turn there. Let's do that again, and then let's. I mean, this is going to be the game, I think. Like, we're just going to, like, put them in a position of... I should have probably played that. Um, we're in your draw. Malevolent Rumble. What are they revealing off of Malevolent Rumble? This gets you, what, a card? Just Glade Cover Scout, yeah. I mean, this is, like, to die for here. Like, right? Like, we get to, like, just keep making them discard cards. I feel like we just... Oh, no, we have to cast this. No, absolutely. Car Clan Shaman seems great in this matchup. This is, like, the nuttiest game, like, I think I've ever had with this deck. Like, holy cow, this is so good. Okay, yeah, you can have an Abundant Growth. That is actually just A-OK. -okay. We are going to... I'm going to talk rebuke that guy. <laughs> yes yes so good all right we want breath weapon we want tithing blade and we want Kirkland shaman um yes yes what a game such a good game oh all right uh let's see here uh what do we cut like Gal Blast, like, is is awkward because it's not a good card here. What do they have in their sideboard? What do they actually have against my deck? Gutshot? Dog Umbra. Spirit Lake. Like, standard standard bearer. Standard bearer. So we don't want any, like, targeted removal. But, but most of their stuff has Hexproof. So. Like, I think we want, like, the... I think we just cut the Galf Blast, most of the Galf Blasts. And then, do they have anything that 
gets hit by a blast of some sort. No, no, we want this negate. Negate. Just cut all the gal blasts and, like, board in negates and, like, Cart Clan Shaman stuff. Cart Clan Shaman seems, like, really good against this matchup. Um, yeah, this is, this is fine. Again. Slippery Vogel. Malevolent Rumble. So a Clark Cryon Shaman would be very good right about now. Like, that would be bonkers. Like... Calling it. Clark Clan Shaman. No. Okay, fine. Uh, we will push Chromatic Star into play. Casper oh, Furbish Familiar. We'll cast this. We can't cast yet the. I forward on the tithing blade. I did. Okay, good. Cartusha Solidarity is a good card. I give it that. So we need the. The. Suddenly this thing is Gigantor. Uh, it doesn't have Trample, though, so I feel like we... We could probably take it, and then... You know, I guess we thought cast first. We want to draw some cards. Get into the red zone. So we just, like, have to hope to fade, like, a trample of some sort. Ancestral, another ancestral mask. A, a, um, something would be good here. Like, yeah, I have to block this thing. Uh, okay. Um, Like, we just have to, like, hit, knock out a trample enchantment. That is awkward, because we don't have... They have more than enough mana to uh, pay for a metallic review. Alright, sure. They have a giant... Cause they have a giant thing, and I lose the game to it. Fine, 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 fine. S sell it home for game... Three. All right, so we are on the play. Car Clan Shaman seems so good against this deck, uh, the, uh, this deck, because you can just kill their things in response to them doing something. Uh, 
Okay. Uh... Seems like a good start. Seems like a great start, honestly. Yeah, sure. Yeah, ledge walker is fine. Your cart, my cart clan shaman cares not for your ledge walker. Yep. Oh, actually, I'm okay with you having that. And then we are going to go deep into. Oh, no, I don't want to make them discard a card. Yeah! Hey, look, we got there. Bogles. Yeah, buddy. Uh, that's a thing. All right, here we go. Into play against Mr. John Ryan Hamilton, and we are on the play. This seems like a legitimately perfect uh, opener here. All right. Um, is there really any up downside to leading on? I guess we could. I guess doing this lets us cast Chromatic Star. Then we get to cast familiar for one black. Which seems just kind of okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. That's that's fine. Yeah, they also have a familiar. Uh, we'll pitch that. I guess it was actually snack armor is probably better against the mirror. Uh, now that I think about it. Just go ahead and pass. Do I want to rebuke this thought cast? Like that seems. I feel like I do. I feel like taking two is kind of just fine. Okay, yeah, that, that seemed okay to do that when they had more than one. Yeah. Yeah, 
and cast this frog rank. Cast this guy. the sneaky snacker sneaky snacking 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 uh, let's, let's draw some cards let's draw some more cards Press the advantage. Yeah, you get your snacker back tapped. That's reasonable. We're going to hold on to these Eviscerator's Insights. I think just because... We want to be able to respond to something. Eviscerator's Insight is such a good magic card. Honestly, I'm enjoying playing it. It seems so much fun. Let's see what they got going on here. A Blood Fountain would be nice. Yeah, Mirror Enforcer is a good magic card. Uh, let's... Oops. Mm, let's play that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Kill that. Let's play that. Yeah, Deadly Disputes a card. You get your snacker back. 
So much card draw occurring in this game. I just have to hope to not see the um, the Nihil spell bomb. I, I can't pay for Blood Fountain at this point. Thought cast. Okay. Uh, that's, I'm totally okay with that. This seems like a totally fine thing uh, to occur. Uh, Nihil spell bomb. Uh, negate. Dual board and a Hydra Blast. Um, we don't like Cart Clan Shaman because they don't have a whole lot of creatures to kill with it. It's weird that I want to board out the Frogmites, but I also want to just have creatures that attack things. So I want the the Breath Weapon. I want to lean hard on the other on get we're getting rid of their threats. And gorilla shaman to destroy their lands. Or not hydroblast, red elemental blast. What am I talking about? Ugh, not hydroblast. Uh. Can I fit in one more? Yeah. That seems better. Not Hydra Blast. Red Elemental Blast. I want to counter and destroy blue stuff. I about made a mistake. Big mistake. Okay, this seems reasonable. It's like Blood Fountain, turn one. Or sorry, no, Chromatic Star, turn one. <sighs> Lots of Gal Blasts. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Like... Oh, yeah, see? Bigger Wellspring. So we get to just attack their mana base at this point. And we just have to hope they don't have a red source. Okay, they do have a red source. Yeah, that, that tracks. Seems like the correct thing to do. Other walls ring, yep. Need a red land. I mean, that's a card that does some things. I feel like I'm strang strangled on black and they're strangled on red. Or, or I'm, uh, they're strangled on black and I'm strangled on red, yeah. Like, I think that's, like, accurate. I feel like not so much anymore. Setting them back with the, um... Yeah, that's, that's fair. I feel like I 
feel like I just want to hang back and try and draw. So many Icker Wellsprings in play. It's insane. Okay, they have a black source now, so... Oops. Hey, look at that. Double Mirror Enforcer. Blow up that land. Brutally rude, friend. Brutally rude. And I have full four of my Galvanic Blasts in my hand. Lulls. This is rough, honestly. Like, we're just going to try and pick off lands at this point. Like, if this Gorilla Shaman survives to the next turn, we're just picking off lands. I love these mirrors because they're so back and forth. Uh, even if... Uh, like, these cards are, like, absolutely absurd. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll pitch, we'll pitch a Galvanic Blast. <laughs> I have three more of them. Let's go. Okay, yeah, sure. That is a fair thing to do. That is also a fair thing to do. Yep. All right, we will also refurbish familiar. Blow your thing up. Blow your thing up. <laughs> Cast another mirror forcer. Ah, uh, deadly dispute. Yeah. Yeah, familiar. Getting to draw cards pretty good. <laughs> you saw all four of my Galvanic Blasts, friend. All four. Can't cast Eviscerator's Insight. Can we go in and bash in for attacks? Okay, that's totally fine. Do we have to cast... This now. Okay. 
If I get another, like, Gorilla Shaman, that would be, like, great. More Deadly Disputes, yep. Yep, you got a Sneaky Snacker. Blood Fountain is legitimate here. Because I think you have to... Oh. Don't you have to just do it now? I mean... I guess we just, like... Cast. Blue Elemental Blast for that. Yeah, that's fine. This, this game has been legitimately nuts. So much back and forth. I mean, he has 17 cards in his graveyard. I have 13 cards in my graveyard. It's been nuts. Let's put it realistically. It would have been nice to have hit that um, my Night Hill spell bomb in that turn. Because now they do get to Blood Fountain. I feel like you have to. You have to rebuild, right? Podcast, yeah. Yeah. You ha you have to rebuild. So I feel like I don't need this misfault bridge. I feel like we pitch it. It's been a game. I love games. It's been a game. Ooh, okay. That's fair. Do you have another? Oh, okay. Refurbish familiar. Uh, even better. Like, legitimately fine. Sure. Yeah. Got to do it.
Me being at 20 life here is a good place to be, honestly. Are you discarding? Okay. <laughs> Get your sneaky snacker. Yep. Okay, yeah, sure. Gorilla Shaman is... It's weird, because it's neat here, but it's not. Like... I have so many lands. Like, yeah, you can destroy some of my red lands. But... Yeah, sure. Uh, this is not what I want to see, but, like, we just get in there. It's awkward. Like, we didn't draw, like, anything that we wanted. But in the same breath, like... I mean, this is also a thing we get to do. You do not... Oh, come on. So many blue elemental blasts. <laughs> there goes all my lands. Sure thing. Another sneaky snacker. Yep. Yep. So, I just... I don't want to... Ugh. This game. This game went, went like, totally in his favor really quickly. Yeah, chip at a time. I mean, us drawing these lands doesn't really help much unless till we can do something with it. <laughs> yeah, that's slick. I don't know if we pull this game out or not, but it is certainly a thing. That is a card. You do not have Metallic Rebuke. Oh, you suck. Okay. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Ugh. All right, we were, we will go ahead and we will concede to this this board state. Like it is not good. Feel like I want all my blue elemental blasts. Or at least a hydro blast. Breath weapon seems real bad here.
that was a game, uh, like a very legitimate game, like. Definitely a game. All right, let's see what happens in game three. All right. We are on the play. Yes. Uh, this seems like a great opening hand, honestly. So we get to hold on to this. Okay. Also blood fountaining. We're just playing control. Reb up for a a thing. We have Reb and Beb up. That's pretty good. You're just hoping to ride this uh, Gorilla Shaman to some victory here. Okay, yep. You got a thing. Not having any... Uh, not all, Being stuck on two lands is rough.
Because we get to rebuke whatever they they can they want to do here. I feel like uh, he got stuck on lands. That's what it feels like. Which is rough. Like I know what this deck feels like when you get stuck on lands. It's it's insanely rough. Mm, okay. Yeah, you got a thought cast. Probably should have that. We will. We'll rebuke. Discard sneaky stacker. Okay. This blue all my blast seems real awkward in my hand, but because they're only casting blue and black spells. But I'll get a treasure out of this deadly dispute. Yeah, okay. Let's see what happens here. This is rough. Like, he's low on time, plus, um... Okay. Okay, yeah, that's, that's totally fine. Let's eat that. Now we gotta find an answer for this this thing. Yep. Good answer. Feel like we're getting uh, disputed, maybe? Yeah, I think they just wait. I don't think you wait. I think if you're gonna like cast like a draw to you, you have to do it like now. Yeah, that's that's fair. I have a reb for this thing. I have a rep for this thing, and I have a beb for, like, a blast of some sort. And Eviscerator's in sight. Okay. I 
think we like do this. the gorilla shaman value. And I have blood fountain, so like we can get back some creatures so that seems like a great well, it seems like a great place to be we're we're definitely playing for playing in time here the long game and i mean it could go either way here very much grindy okay yeah sure <laughs> just wanting to take out as many of my lands as possible I mean, if that's your game plan here, I don't think it's going to get you anywhere. Okay, sure. That's problematic. Yeah, that's fine. The question is, do you go? Do you go after the rest of the lands? Like you can go to. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Swing it in for one. I mean, is this is kind of what we got to do. Oh, Blood Fountain is cute. I wish I had the... Yeah, you got that guy. C. 
seems good. to block there. That's fine getting that metallic reviewed. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. We are playing for the team here, right? Like, this is the thing that we are doing. We are down to the wire. <sighs> These, this is just a game. Sure, you get a gorilla shaman. Well, you get a, a dude. All right. Well, the honest is on you to kill me at this point. Like, it's problematic, but yeah, sure. Really, all I gotta do is kill your flyer. My God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, and that about wraps up this event. Uh, my big misplay at the end of the final round there uh, that I played, round four, uh, versus Grix's Affinity in the Mirror uh, versus my good friend XJ Cloud. Uh, the biggest misplay of that particular uh, uh, game three, especially being such a nail-biter, uh, what happened was, is I kind of tunnel visioned uh, down into uh, focusing on the board uh, more than focusing on my opponent's life total, uh, in the sense that uh, I was able to actually cast a lethal Galvanic Blast uh, on the turn where they had uh, the Metallic Rebuke on the Blood Fountain. Uh, I would have been able to pay for a Metallic Rebuke uh, for just the Galvanic Blast, now, that is provided they didn't have anything like Blue Elemental Blast or Hydro Blast. Um, we might have been thinking about that at the time, but honestly, I think I just blanked on their life total being as low as it was uh, and was more focused on the board uh, at that point, trying to control the board. So, yeah, it cost us, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think the two matches I won were relatively solid, especially the uh, Game 3 versus Bogles. Um, wow, uh, that was a incredible uh game three 
Uh, definitely enjoyed that game quite a bit. Uh, that is pretty much as best, as perfect as you want to get for this deck uh, to demolishing uh, what they're doing. And then um, having to play against Golgari Gardens in game, round one, uh, very rough. Um, Golgari Gardens is functionally developed to shred the affinity decks, uh, especially when the affinity decks are much more creature-based. Uh, so it's just a, a rough uh, piece of variance to have to face like the worst matchup that Affinity has, uh, simply because uh, that was the only cool card cards player in the entire event. So, uh, and even starting off with a match win or a game win because of uh, they my opponent was uh, tardy uh, to the event, uh, simply because they were having some issues with Magic Online. Uh, they were given a game loss by the tournament organizer, or organizers, and so that didn't really help. Uh, my my opinion didn't actually help somewhat because even though I was like, up a game, um, I I think post board uh, Golgari Gardens is much better against Affinity than any other deck in the format because of the cards like Troublemaker Roof and uh, Deglamour. So yeah, I. I can't be upset with uh, having that kind of variance to play against that kind of matchup. Uh, I definitely can't be upset with my t with uh, my play uh, today. I feel pretty happy with it, despite the one misplay. And honestly, uh, you know, talking it over with uh, John uh, Ryan Hamilton, XJ Cloud, we both were kind of like nail biting, hand sweating uh, in that moment of you know what was going on in that game. Uh, because the game was going down really to the wire. Uh, so, And they were all like really, really stellar games. So I, I can't be too too upset. Uh, but uh, if you stuck it out this far and uh, got to this part, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope to do another one of these content creator showdowns at some point. Uh, probably not July, because I will be busy with a convention in July. Uh, but hopefully August. Uh, I will be able to do the one in August. We'll see. Uh, and maybe even the one in September. Oh, you know, that that might also be a, a thing as well. Um, I mean, they're going to do these every month, so it'd be kind of fun to try and get into another one of these and see how it goes uh, and see if I can uh, do well in one of them. Uh, that would be great. But I really appreciate uh, Daybreak Games and Magic Online for providing these opportunities to us content creators in the Magic Online content creator program. Uh, so, again, thank you to them. Uh, be sure to check out the link tree, uh, link linktr.ee slash worldxp. Uh, check out MCG Goldfish, my YouTube. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, uh, and uh, we'll see you all next time. I hope to have a video out sometime soon. I really do. Uh, so, thanks, and take it easy.